going the other way from the garden, back to the garden, into the kitchen garden. So there'll be a gate here, you'll step through. There's the water pot and the old garden store which keeps the big items like power cleaners and the big bags of compost and shingle and things like that in. Um, that's a camellia there, it's going to stay in the kitchen garden because it's the sunniest spot. That's my jasmine which has gone to the outside of the trellis. The old sentry box which is the tool store which will be on this side of the main yard right next to the new shed. That's the nursery cuttings. The new shed is six by four. It's got a, a potting table inside waiting to be um, waiting to be assembled. It's got a pent roof which slopes back towards the garden so the water will drain off into the garden. Um, so the view from the shed is the tomatoes, the lettuces and rocket, the studio, the herb pots, the strawberries, entrance into the utility room, there's Alf racing out to kill one of the local dogs, and the garden trellis. So it's a fairly good size working kitchen garden area. Just needs something to paint the shed with that doesn't spoil that lovely colour. Um, it's going to have to be varnish, I think, but I can't do it. So that's it. I'm pleased with that. There's a lot more work to be done and I'm too tired to do it today. Bye.